hello. intermittent connection sometimes it triggers sometimes it doesn't apparently uh, it's pretty common so I thought you might want to see how to fix it or just send it to me Basically, that's just a mesh head, like a nylon mesh, two layers actually, feeling it. And that gets tension over the, the rim, or the shell I guess you'd call it. It's got a little, uh, little edge there, just like a shell of a drum, and then a hoop just like a normal drum kit hoop that gets tensioned up to this thing which is some sort of plastic <clears throat> no markings so basically all it is is a uh, piezo crystal like a buzzer um, on a little foam cock there that pushes against the mesh head and uh, outputs a signal every time um, every time you kick it. It's got a normal, I guess, a, a stock um, kick pedal which triggers it. So it feels it's supposed to feel like a normal drum, drum kick drum, with the same sort of bounce to it and whatever. Um, so it doesn't just feel like a rubber pad like some of the other manufacturers build. You can sort of play with the tension, I guess, and uh, and get a feel for how you like it set up. And I guess that there is just to take the, the hit itself. So you're not actually kicking the sensor. It's off to the side and the, the beater is hitting around there. Shut up, cockatoo. Um... I'll grab, a, I'll grab a sensor by itself to show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Alright, so there's a big ass one. Just basically a... Uh, a... Um, brass plate with a tiny little sliver of crystal which is quartz um, with a uh, what looks like silver deposited on one side as the other contact and when there's a electrical charge between the two plates uh, the quartz deforms and makes noise like a speaker but the same opposite happens if the uh, quartz deforms then it generates voltage and potential difference on the two leads now that's like um it's like your barbecue starter you know that little click thing you hit and uh it triggers a, a spark to light up your barbecue it's the same same principle it's probably got a uh, spring-loaded hammer in that circumstance for a bit of extra oomph now here's the tiny little one so that shows all the different sizes it comes in. Um, again, they're, they're like little buzzers on, you know, the, the little um, birthday cards that sing happy birthday to you and shit like that. It's got one of these tiny little fuckers in it. 
controlled by a little chip. <clears throat> They're very thin, like sub millimeter thin. Um, you can also use them for very cheap uh, pickups for guitars, ukuleles, that kind of thing. They're like you know a couple of cents each for a bit of a lo-fi sound. So anyway, I don't think there's anything actually wrong with this one. It's just lost its connection. Let's carefully take it off and have a look. Hopefully I don't need to buy another one. Figure out the zoom there. Look at that. Yeah, new camera. <laughs> So that's, that's glued on there pretty well. Uh, not promising. I'll just get the tweezers and try to slowly take it off. Part. Awesome. <clears throat> I want to heat this up a bit to try and soften that. Double sort of take what it is. That is bloody cold in <laughs> uh, there's your problem. <laughs> Crazy. So the leads are just cut off. Show you up close. So because this thing's getting smashed by a kick pedal, I guess the the edge of these things, like I just showed you on that other one, they're very thin, they're like half a millimetre thick or something. Um, the edge of the disc is just cut through the wires, both of them. <laughs> and it was held in place by that tape, so I couldn't really tell uh, before I took it apart, but see that? Clean cut. Oh man, trying to frame this thing is hard. Yeah, so the wires are still connected. I assumed that it would have broken the solder connection, but it looks like that's fine. If I heat that up and try and take off the uh, 
sticky crap. Uh, that way, that way. It's going to be painful. It's like snot. It's obviously a double sided tape. It just sticks the tweezers together. Try not to bend the thing because it can crack, destroy it. All right, there are two connections. Um, soldering this one again is easy, the one around the edge. Soldering these is a bit tricky because if you if you have the iron too hot, it vaporizes that metal deposition layer there and you can't get a good connection it just exposes a crystal underneath and there's nothing to solder to so you, you kinda gotta heat the solder blob and just dab it on there and it usually takes straight away however we've still got a good connection there so I might just um, splice to that existing wire save destroying it and just put some heat shrink over it Fire up the soldering iron. Strip a little bit off the end. shrink
through the wires. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. Um, take the old wire off the outside one. Just solder directly to it. If it comes. Oh my god, this is awkward. It's trying to stick to me. <sighs> Get rid of some excess solder. Feel unlucky, so I'm just going to remove that one. I'd prefer to solder directly to it. I'll just turn the soldering iron down as low as it'll go before it won't melt anything. Uh, right, let's try that out. Can't see fuck all, can you? Kind of sucks because the, the brass is acting like a heat sink, sucking the heat away from the solder. That's a connection. I'll just try that out before I get too keen. You can just plug it into a guitar amp and see if it gives any signal. Should sound roughly like a acoustic pickup.
when you touch it. And yes, it does. It's coming from the guitar amp on the shelf there. No crinkling or anything. Before that was cutting out completely if you moved it. And uh, yeah, let's stick that on proper. Although it almost is stuck on proper. And uh, we're done. use some of this uh, 3M double sided tape sticking to everything. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Let's trim off that excess. Try not to cut the cables. cut towards yourself unless you're not a complete fucking idiot then go for it <sighs> alright hopefully that holds up to getting smashed by some drummer I'll just put a uh, that bit of tape back over that so it's not flopping around So there's not a lot of signal there unless you touch it directly, but that's the job of tensioning the skin. I think, don't really know what I'm talking about.
drum key on it. These things like screwdrivers. Stupidest bloody design ever. Probably gonna work. Let's return and find out. <laughs> Thanks for watching.